Tomorrow, if you have anywhere to be, travel will be just fine. Sunday, that's when things are expected to change. A cold front moves through Saturday night. Could impact your Sunday morning drive. Monday, Tuesday, though, really looking to be the two worst days of travel as these storm systems move overhead. High temperatures tomorrow. We have one more day in the 50s and 60s. It is going to be windy tomorrow, though, so it may feel cooler than it actually is. And then our front slides in. We'll start your sky cast off beginning at 7 o'clock in the morning. This is going to be the first push associated with this event this weekend. At 7 a.m., snow will begin impacting the mountains first. As we take you into lunchtime, most of the lower elevations still staying dry. We'll have a bit of sunshine, but then the clouds will thicken up. A cold front heads our way. Starts to move into Colorado or southern Colorado by 7 o'clock in the evening Saturday. It's going to spread snow across Denver, and then that front is going to keep on dropping farther toward the south. We could see some snow sliding into the Pikes Peak region by 9 o'clock. For the most part, it's going to be pretty light snow. We're going to have to track it closely, though, because if we see any intensification with this front as it moves through, could possibly result in some travel issues tomorrow night, so we'll keep an eye on that. Showers will keep on dropping toward the south. This is a look at 1 o'clock Sunday morning, and then as we head into 8 o'clock Sunday morning, we are expecting most of that snow along the I-25 corridor to come to an end. So heading into brunch or church Sunday morning. You should be okay. May have a few patches of some minor accumulations. Most areas less than an inch by Sunday morning. Heading into Sunday afternoon, a completely different story though. This is when our next stronger wave is expected to move in, bringing snow from the southwest toward the I-25 corridor. It will be heavy at times. Road conditions deteriorating quickly come Sunday evening and into Sunday night. Those areas of blue showing the potential for some very heavy snow beginning Sunday night. As far as how much we'll end up with, Still a lot of uncertainty with this storm system, but here's a look at your preliminary totals. Anywhere from 4 to 12 inches of snow along the I-25 corridor, 3 to 10 for the eastern plains. Mountains looking for upwards of a foot of snow. Take that with a grain of salt. This storm system still a ways away, so that... Uh, forecast will likely change a time or two here, so stick with us. Temperatures will drop into the 20s. Heaviest snow expected Monday. Tapers off Tuesday comes to an end by Wednesday. Temperatures stay in the 20s, though, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. In Pueblo, 63 tomorrow. We had 38 on Sunday. 20s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday before we're back in the 30s and 40s Thursday and Friday. Wouldn't be surprised Monday, Tuesday to have some cancellations and delays to contend with. Canyon City, 60 degrees tomorrow. We'll hit 39 on Sunday. 20s are back in the forecast Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Back in the 30s, though, Thursday and Friday. Teller County, 49 tomorrow. We at 30 on Sunday, 23 Monday, then Tuesday. 17 degrees will be our high temperature. Now, I know that those totals seemed like that was a pretty good range. I mean, 4 to 10 inches of snow, that's a good range. But keep in mind, the storm system still several days out. Mm -hmm. Lots of time for it to change as it heads our way. It's still over the ocean. Yeah. So once it evolves and starts moving over land, we'll really be able to narrow down those details. So stick with us. We'll keep you ahead of this storm right here on Caridio News Channel 13. Yeah, it looks like whatever snow we do get is going to stick around for a little bit just because those temperatures are so it cold. It will. And the snow is only one part of it. Gusty winds also blowing the snow around. So major travel impacts expected beginning Sunday night and carrying through your Tuesday. So plan accordingly. All right. Okay. Just yeah. in time for the work week. Mm -hmm.